What's up guys? If you're new here, hi, my name is Crystal and this is Crystal's Copia where we live a life of abundance and I'm here to make your life easier. And in today's video, we are bringing it back by popular demand and that is the cook once, eat all week cookbook. I did a couple videos on this when I first got the book. I'm gonna leave those linked down below, but they were such a hit that I wanted to share another week of this book with you. So if you wanna see how you can cook once, prep some meals and under an hour, usually, it only takes me about an hour to make the meals and then you have three dinners for the week then just keep watching. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know the type of content that you like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video with me. Again, that being said, let's get into it. new to the book, I want to give you just a quick overview of what it's all about. Basically, it gives you week by week themed options for you to prep the food for the week to make dinner a breeze. I don't know about you, but dinner is always a headache for us. What they do is, for example, at the beginning of each week, you'll have a meat, typically a starch and a veggie. And what, what you're going to do is you're going to build three separate dinners that are going to contain those three ingredients. So for example, the week I'm going to show you this week is week nine, and it has chicken breast, kale and corn as the three ingredients. And then the three meals that we're gonna make from those ingredients are a confetti chicken casserole. How delicious does that look? And then Mexican chicken and corn street tacos. Ooh, this was my, our favorite one for sure. And then a green goddess salad. So yummy. So it gives you the ingredients list right at the beginning of each chapter. And then it also gives you the prep day instructions. So it literally walks you through step-by-step step how to prep to get these ready. And then each night when you go to make the dinner, it takes like five to 10 minutes, throw the ingredients together, but you have a fresh meal. It's so delicious. Okay, so let's get into the video. I am gonna link the ingredient list in the description below. So that way, if you're watching the video and you don't see measurements, it's all gonna be listed in the description box. And then also I wanted to mention in each chapter, they have two bonus dinners. So if you wanna make five meals for the week, and these two bonus dinners are extremely easy. They're not the same exact ingredients, but it's a little more like, it's a simpler meal. Um, so it's a great thing to supplement if you're just looking for meal inspiration. And then another thing I wanna mention is there are subs on the side of each menu. You can kind of see it there. And that way, if you wanna make this glute, everything in this book is gluten-free. So that's another really cool thing. But if you wanna make this low carb or keto, or if you wanna um, you know, get rid of the dairy, it gives you options for that too. So it's extremely flexible no matter what your diet is. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven because we wanna cook the chicken while we're prepping the rest of the ingredients. So right now I am turning the oven on to 375, getting that going. And then I'm also getting, I'm greasing a nonstick pan. I'm using a glass Pyrex cake pan, but you can use a parchment paper and a sheet pan, whatever you want. And I ended up doing three packages of chicken breasts because we have a big family and I knew that we would be eating these for lunches as well. And that's the other really cool thing about this book is sometimes the three recipes, we don't like all three. We like two of the three. And so I'll go through and sometimes double one of those other recipes so that we can have it as a lunch. But I just like it because it's so flexible. And if you get to the day and you're like, you know, I don't really feel like that, there you can usually use these ingredients to make something else as well. And so you've gotten all the prep work out of the way, which is usually the part that I don't like. Okay, now I'm just starting the bacon. I end up doing two packages of bacon. Again, we have teenage boys, we have a big family. And so I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of bacon because who doesn't love some bacon? All right, it actually says you can use frozen corn or corn on the cob. I had two cans of corn and I'm trying to use up my pantry right now. So I went ahead and just used the two cans of corn. I separated those into Pyrex and then labeled them. And now I am going to go ahead and start prepping the veggies. Now, the great thing about this book is it literally walks you through step by step by step how to prep. And if you're pretty good at cooking, you get really fast at it because you can multitask and do a couple of things while things are cooking, which is what I'm doing here. But again, if you're a first timer, it's very user friendly. Now you're gonna see me here, I am making chipotle lime dressing. I'm doubling this recipe here, and so I'm gonna give you guys the regular measurements, but you might see more here in mine because again, I'm making more. So I'm making this chipotle lime uh, sauce, and I'm just putting it in a small bell jar container uh, because it's so easy to like shake up and use when you're ready for it. And then this chipotle lime dressing was actually great. I probably would make this separately. Um, all it was was three ingredients. I used olive oil mayonnaise. The recipe calls for avocado mayo, but 
I like to use what I have. And then fresh lime juice and chipotle chili powder. So super, super easy. And the sauces really make these meals. Um, it just gives it kind of the added touch for flavor. The other thing I love about this book is if you are the only person that's doing most of the cooking, this is a great way for you to delegate some of the responsibilities, whether you and your spouse or partner or roommate, you can prep this food together or you can have them follow the recipe book and do one of the dinners. So you've done all the heavy lifting, they can just follow the recipe and make it for you. And now here I'm just chopping up the kale. Again, the book outlines everything for you, it walks you through. And I love that it you it allows me to use things that I wouldn't normally use. Like I don't use a lot of kale unless I'm like throwing it in a smoothie. I know it's so good for me and so good for my family. And so making it into the slaw for the street tacos was great. My kids didn't even notice really they were eating kale. They just, you know, were having street tacos. So I pulled the chicken out of the oven. It's looking really good. I'm gonna let that cool while I finish chopping up the chives. And also I'm gonna be preparing the green goddess dressing as well. One thing I wanna know is in the green goddess dressing, it requires fresh tarragon leaves. And I did not, for whatever reason, I've just spaced and didn't get those. And so I ended up Googling it and I used dill in place of it. So if you ever have a recipe that requires just a tiny bit of a spice, instead of going and buying that spice, Google what is a similar taste or something you can supplement for that. And you might already have it. So that will save you money too. Okay, I'm just cutting all this up and I'm throwing it right in the blender because I'm gonna have to blend it up anyway. And so instead of dirtying another container, this was just um, easier for me. Also a little hack when you're squeezing these lemons, um, make sure you put the lemons in uh, face up so that way they don't stick to your lemon squeezer and then I also saw a little hack which I'm going to start doing where they cut the end off before they put it in there to get all the juice pushed through so I thought that was kind of a cool thing I'm going to start doing that uh, but I didn't notice that till after I filmed this so I wanted to mention it to you and then again I'm using the same avocado or I'm using the same olive oil mayonnaise I didn't want to buy avocado mayonnaise just for this we use this on sandwiches so I had it on hand it worked great it tasted really good that is the green goddess dressing that I'm throwing together there the other thing I wanted to talk about is how easy this is to order groceries. So at the beginning of each chapter, it's going to give you a list of ingredients. And so what I like to do is I sit down with the ingredients list and my Walmart app, and I just go through and I pick the ingredients and have them either delivered or picked up in my area. I have to pick them up and you can use any grocery app that you're using, but it's so nice because it gives you three dinners. It gives you all the ingredients. It's not anything crazy ingredient wise either, which is what I love. And I'm cutting up some of the chicken now that it's cooled. I did not end up making the green goddess salad. I ended up using the dressing to make salads just for lunch. So I only did the street tacos, which you're gonna see here. They were awesome. They turned out really, really good. They looked a lot like the picture, which I was shocked. And then I also made the confetti chicken casserole and the kids loved it. We ate it all, it was amazing. So these recipes are really, really yummy, really good. And then another cool thing about this book that I wanted to mention is one thing that you can do is if you are on your online grocery app and you are looking at the sale items, and let's say for example, hot roast is on sale or chicken breast is on sale, you can go to the back of the book and they're organized by ingredients. So if I, if I go to ground beef, it's going to give me all of the recipe pages that are ground beef is, is the main ingredient or chicken breast. But this is a great, great money saving option too, because it's going to keep you from going out to eat. And then you can shop the sales and actually figure out what you want to cook with them so that you're not wasting time or money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this book. It's linked below. So get one for yourself. And if you like this video or you want to see other videos like that, please leave a comment below. It helps out my channel so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's gone.